Welcome to Gord Field here in Detroit Rock City, home of the Motor City Maniacs. And I see the Maniac fans are trying to get the fire wave going, <laughs> but so far just a small number of fires and mostly just on the upper deck. Yeah, they really stepped up security, Grim. In the men's room earlier, I only witnessed three random assaults and two of them were on me. <laughs> Not bad for gang day. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Los Angeles Dam battle. The Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. The paddy wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means MFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And it's first and ten. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a. Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if Is that right, Grim? That penalty makes no sense. It's something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. <laughs> Second down and a lot. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. He's gone. You know, the ref's job is very tough, Bricks. Uh, even tougher when he's dead, I would imagine. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Third down and long. That's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, with a brutal hit! And it's 
First and ten. That's a six yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. He had it for a second there. Third and four. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> His work speed just kicked in. That play was like the offense was playing rock, paper, scissors, and the defense was playing rocket launcher. And now the defense has the ball because they came to play. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Pow! With the brain scrambler! First down and six. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Second down and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Oh, seriously, man, you think you'd go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blast just cleared the field for the receiver. Oh, thank God. What? Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your aunt. Oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean, stop them into the ground. First down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down and a mile. He's got a good chiropractor. And it's 
First and ten. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And it's first and ten. Oh, my God! The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind! And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Either way, they're going for two. Second down in a very lot. The quarterback is getting mauled out there. Second. 
second down in a mile. And seems those Williams are back to the Folks, picks up eight there. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. Second down and two. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut, and you'll tire these guys out. First down. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. Uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Uh. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. Important part. 
And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. The 30. He's at the 20. They're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a saw buck riding on this asshole. for one when you could go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. He caught it. That's two points and even more momentum on their side. I can feel the momentum shifting. For the last time, you're not a Jedi, Bricks. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big port of John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Wow, the quarterback just threw a sonic blast. To and then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frozen at the mouth. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo grip. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. He's going to get him now. He's going to have First and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and two. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Third down and, well, good luck. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop. 
drop him. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nice. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second and three. right there folks no they couldn't pick up a first down so now they have to punt he boomed that one let's see if they can get a return First and ten. Strong run. Second down and two. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. 
He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. to make this one interesting. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good return here. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and ten. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. And he gets three yards on that run. Third down and six. target more often and it's first and ten and the defense gives up five yards there second down and five maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too down and five. Nicely done for a first down. First and eight to go. That's a nice catch for five yards. Second and three. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! going for two. And he finds his target for two. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's 
First and ten. First and ten. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talk to you. Killer, it was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy league. Third down and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. No good. Well, that punter's going to find it. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. And he runs it for four yards. And that'll bring up third and one. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. for two here. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. They stop the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you tell The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. 
That pass was good for 10 yards. Second down. Your timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell was that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done! I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork, though, than me. On account of not clenching his cheeks, though. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. wants to speed things up so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were... Huge pass play for one yard. Second. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle so neither team can put their players on the bench. toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. The Motor City Maniacs lose it home. Yeah, more like the Motor City. Uh, uh, I can't think of a good one, Grim. You know what? You got shit for brains. Oh, thanks, Junior. Uh, more like the Motor City shit for brains. They fought tooth and nail, but in the end, lose by three. It's a hell of a thing losing it home. They took away all they've got, and all they're ever gonna have. Yeah, well, they played like shit. Fuck them. Fuck them indeed, Junior. Let's go down the field and see what that meathead has to say about his MVP award. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it.